Hi everyone, my name is Samantha Cook and I work as an application engineer in the wire and cable department here at Annexter. Today I'll be going over Cable Components 101. Cables today come in a variety of different types, sizes, and materials. The makeup of a cable is usually determined by three different things. One, the working voltage. Two, the current carrying capacity. And three, environmental conditions. I'm going to break it down from you and going to start from the inside and then work our way outside. So starting from the inside, we have the conductor. The conductor is the most important part of the whole entire cable as the current carrier. It can be either copper or aluminum and are usually solid for smaller sizes or stranded for bigger sizes for better flexibility. So moving outwards, we have the conductor shield. The conductor shield is very important as it provides for a smooth radial electric field within the insulation and also helps prevent electrical noise. The insulation helps prevent unwanted current flow or leakage. Insulations today are usually polymetric and have additional additives such as flame retardants and tree retardants to help expand its lifetime. Moving outwards, we have the insulation shield. The insulation shield is very similar to the conductor shield as it provides for a smooth radial electric field within the insulation. It should also be used for its strippability as it needs to be easily stripped for it to be able to be terminated later or sliced. Moving outwards, we have the metallic shield. Metallic shield is usually used for the flow of current or for the fault current. Moving outwards, we have the jacket. Similar to the jacket that we wear, this jacket helps protect against environmental conditions such as temperature, water, or chemicals. It also really helps with mechanical wear and tear. Well, that's a wrap for our Cable Components 101. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next time. Thank you.